Alright, here we go. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to another installment of the Heathen's Haven. I'm your host, the head Heathen, saying the Plaster Bastard back again with my homeboy. Abstract what it do. Y'all heard him. Now, we gonna get into this motherfucking shit, but before we do, I wanna give a shout out to my sponsor. <laughs> Starting right off. The Devil Letters. Cause I ain't quite high enough yet. I ain't smoked in three hours. Niggas said three hours. He's talking about man. I ain't smoked, man. I'm thinking, oh, he's about to say like a week. Niggas said three hours. About <laughs> <laughs> in a few hours. What the fuck is you know what? Give me my torch. Cause the heat is aiming. Ain't the heat is aiming without a blood of that motherfucking devil lettuce. So let me, let me do some good shit on the t-shirt. Oh yeah. Merchandise comes to town, man. That'd be a long ass shirt. Let's put the ball in the bitch in the back. Like, what the hell's the heat is aiming? <laughs> right. Like, uh. It's like, you know, I'm gonna put the QR code in there. They can take their phone, wow, come right to the podcast. See? <laughs> ah! That's not good thinking. Where y'all would get a QR code from? The make one, nigga, that's easy. Is it? Yeah! Shit, fuck it. Alright, so. Man, I don't even know what's been going on in the news. All I know is there's been another man shooting. We see these motherfuckers at least once a week now. Shit. You think it's not gonna stop? No, it's, it's not gonna work. stop. So, so, who at the door? I'm literally at the point where I'm like, who cares? Damn. No, because if nothing's gonna stop, then who? What the fuck? It's not gonna stop. Niggas gonna die. He even got to the point where fucking Matthew McConaughey going to the White House making speeches and shit. <laughs> I don't mean shit though, man. If, if you if y'all are not gonna do nothing about it, then what the fuck is the point? All the cool by us, all the sad news, all the motherfucking cameras, nigga, keep shooting. <laughs> Go ahead. They gonna bust in the air at the memorial. <laughs> <laughs> Just like y'all so know, nigga. Nothing was coming out. Like the movie. Yeah, let me tell you. Oh shit. All right, well, I don't wanna, I'm not I don't, I'm not even gonna fake it no more. I ain't gonna damn. Make it no more. I ain't gonna leave this. You heard him. <laughs> <laughs> he just ain't gonna be stocking the whole time. I'm just gonna leave it with this flavor. I'm just gonna leave it with this flavor. But man, if nothing's gonna change, who cares? Huh? Who cares? Hmm. Man, shit. I just saw, I just saw, I was the victim of one of the motherfuckers. Shit. Right. Sitting at work or. Going to the fucking movies or something, next you know, somebody come in there and just start lighting the bitch up. Right. For no reason. Right. <coughs> what if you do? Then what you want to do? Duh. Maybe the fuck out the way, yeah. Right. Either that or die. Oh, yeah. I just want you to kumbaya, you on TV, oh my god. She got to do something to the fuck. Man, fuck that. We ain't doing shit. Hey, do your thing, nigga. Gun crime's been out of control in America. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's just ain't been like to this magnitude where it's a fucking mass shooting every other day and shit. You know what I'm saying? This is some new, this is some different shit. And I think a lot of it is a lot of copycat. A lot of motherfuckers, but, hmm. Man, I think you do it. Man, I should go and get a rifle and do that shit. But like we said, like we said last week, watch schools, though. Bust at the bank. You want to shoot, go at the bank. At least get some money out of it. <laughs> or die, or die, or die or whatever, fuck. Oh, yeah, go in there and shoot up the whole bag. Right, nigga, all the back. tellers. Yeah, just damn. All the tellers. Scrammer, nigga. And all the fucking security guards. I over them all for that clean out all the tills. You know what, dog? That's the nigga you need to, like, how do you, how would you rob a bank? Because he, if he, if, look, if you, if you, if you down to shoot kids, you down to shoot a couple motherfuckers in there. Cause Like, remember, you ain't give me that long bitch ass nigga. Right, but I'm saying, like, oh, oh, ain't none of that fucking scared. I'm not gonna hurt you. Nah. Give us the money to get shot. Uh-huh. Bow. 
Turn up the money and get shot like he with the shits. Dog said. And you gonna shoot up the police? John Travolta from Swordfish and shit. <laughs> right, right. Meet our demands or the pretty blind in the bell bottom gets to the back of the head. Back splat. <laughs> <laughs> what, still no bus? <laughs> right. I'm, am I lying? That's what you have to do that. Rob Banks, man, do something. Oh, uh, these motherfuckers are crazy. They ain't got no good sense. They ain't gonna do that shit. Don't say anything. That's pussy. Oh, you can shoot a uh, kid, but you can't bust out the security and the police? They don't At least you can pay for this shit. I think the dude that shot the kids died in a shootout. Didn't he? Didn't yeah, he you know who killed them? The Not the police. Oh, yeah, what are they like, Border Patrol or some shit like that? some regular nigga. <laughs> some civilian killed them. I thought it was Border Patrol or some bullshit. Hell no. Because I think, I, like, I think, I don't know, I could have sworn, like, he got shot by... Just a regular dude looking for his kid. That hit with a shotgun. I don't know. You know? <laughs> I feel like he didn't escape. So I had to get into the border patrol. And it's in the city in the middle of Texas. It ain't like it's on like El Paso right there. We just try to get the best one. I don't know where you, you ball the areas or whatever the fuck it's called. Right. <laughs> so if, you, if you want to bust out, bust off the police. Bro. Or somebody that'll actually shoot back. Right. Like anybody. Get the, Rob a bank, do what you gotta do, they gonna hit the button, you take one of them heads off. You don't give them a chance to hit the button, you walk in shooting. <laughs> shoot the tellers first, <laughs> shoot the fucking bank manager, and the security if there is one. Wait, you shoot the bank manager? How are you gonna get the keys? Get him in the fucking ball. I'm gonna take him off his, off his body, I guess. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? You can't out the Fuck the ball, you can't out the tills. You know what, you can't. Oh, wait, now you going to prison to die for $500? $500, yeah, right. You don't even know real money in that. How much you giving that? 2000 tops? And each tail? Oh, God. But still, worth the ball, it probably got thousands and thousands a month. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying. But you can't even rob a bank by yourself. You need at least three niggas, four niggas. Oh, shit. Oh, they had to be ready to shoot. <laughs> they had to really stick it up and they're all scared. Like the shit go, uh, set, set it off. Uh, <laughs> nah, you got to ran out the door. Right. <laughs> I need I'm that gonna, money. I'm going to give her shit. Fuck that. <laughs> you had nothing to do with this. <laughs> Fuck out. Yeah, who can fuck show up and get that bitch no money? Right. <laughs> Speaking of set it off, did you hear, uh, that fake ass. A uh, message from Jada Pinkett about the Oscar slap. What? Uh, what she say, though? You didn't hear that show? Yeah. All right, let me pull it up right quick. Like, for one, I find it, uh, I find it weird that she even, like, bringing this shit up so late. Like, we are, like, a month away or two months away. You know what I'm saying? The, we over it, and right. now you bring it back up. Bitch. <laughs> but then her her fucking message was just so weak. Let me see. Just trying to like it was like she was trying to. I'll show you. Hurry up, shit. Fuck. Goddamn punk ass browser ain't shit. <laughs> fucking uh, probably eating a lot of motherfucking memory. Oh yeah. Shit, at least it seemed like it's so going slow enough. Motherfuckers. Oh man, summer in the city, man. Finally. It ain't it's summer yet. Oh, it's the big man. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> when it's at least three days, we're good fucking well over 70 degrees or something. Yeah, we ain't even had that. We ain't even had that. I'm saying now. So I think we're gonna buy it. We're gonna get a good. We're gonna get a good weather tomorrow, and then it's gonna be a shitty weekend. Damn, like 75, 80 for the rest of the year. I mean, the rest of the summer. So shout out to the fucking weather. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. That right. should be like 55 degrees on the first day of summer. That dog. Like it's 55 out there right now. 45 by the lake. Now, I'm trying to find just the goddamn clip. 
can see here, type in response. See what comes up then. I can't remember just find a clip, though. They always got that entertainment time and a reaction video and some jackass bullshit. <laughs> just want to find the fucking clip. Okay, so is this it? Is this no, it? I think, no, no, I think the other one is. Because this is two months ago. The other one was seven days ago, so that was Two months ago? Yeah, okay, what are you watching right now? Two months ago. Eyewitness news. Teddy Pickett Smith speaks out. Two months ago, I don't see that shit. I saw it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. From that Oscar sh Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Which one? See, the one that was two months. Yeah, that's the not one. what I'm looking for. The one below is seven days. That's all I'm looking for. What are you talking about? You just said that the one she said it. Dude, this is when they ain't fucking watching it. Oh, the well, Wendy Williams shit. Damn, bro. Look at this. I just want the fucking clip. This is all about the fucking clip, dog. So, anyway, man, she got on there and gave this disingenuous ass fucking response like she read off a goddamn teleprompter or some shit. So, like, what, like, what's the gist of what she was saying? She used to say, like, oh, we hope these men can reconcile and uh, work it out, talk it out, whatever. I don't know. Yeah, like, bitch, ain't this some shit that you really set up? You set this shit up. You told, you set them on. <laughs> you set them on. I mean, she really didn't. She ain't tell them to do that. But she still. Up, please. You know if your girl gave you a look. She gave that nigga a look like, damn, you gonna let this nigga disrespect you like that? Yeah. Remember, he was laughing before. And then he looked over and she didn't hear like, well, this nigga talk to me like that? And then he got up, bah! Barked at that nigga and now he talking about they should reconcile. Man, I'll tell you what the fuck. Like, like now they supposed to reconcile shit? Damn, Chris Rock ain't got shit to reconcile. <coughs> I did see that. He said, fuck that. I did see that. Most editors can tell you the cost of a gallon of milk. I was a teacher, my dad was thirsty. I know how hard you work. I'm about to give a fuck. Bro, I don't want to that means. Any politician got to say, bro. I'm like, I'm over it. I'm over it. We get this dumbass president, this dumbass fucking vice president, this dumbass fucking uh, House of Representatives, this dumbass Senate, dumbass everybody. I'll see you off your vote, the tabletop broke down in tears on today's episode as he sat down with a woman named Nikki Ball, whose 12 year old daughter suffered from alopecia and died by suicide. And before they were joined by Nikki, Jada spoke directly to yourself, you you lose your hair? Will Smith's Oscar slap, saying she hopes Nikki's story will demonstrate why people need a deeper understanding. Fuck out of here. Skip it here. Inform people about what alopecia actually is. Now, about Oscar, my deepest hope is that these two intelligent, capable men have an opportunity to heal, talk this out, and reconcile. The state of the world today, we need them both. And we all actually need one another more than ever. Until then, we're not continuing to do what we have done for the last 28 years. And that's keep figuring out this thing called life together. Shut you fucking up, your husband. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. But the best thing the fuck out of your husband, that's all she knows. Here, devil. And then she looked like she was just reading off a of fuck. He reads a few cards or some shit. Hey, but you don't mean none of this shit you saying. None of it. I hate actors, dog. You can't tell when they being real. <laughs> and then, you know, I don't know. You know, they are being genuine. They saying stupid shit. <laughs> like what? What do you mean, like what? Like what? Now, just recently, fucking uh, Janelle Monet now identifies herself as non-binary. What the fuck does that even mean, bro? You just like, you just let that shit ride, bro. I just, I don't even, like, I try to understand it, but something is better. Hey, okay, fine, but I love you. I mean, I don't, well, but I, uh, ultimately, I don't care, bro. Yeah. I'm just proving a point. Right. When they being honest, they saying ignorant shit. 
Yeah, this is this is funny. She's talking about all this shit. Like I said, that she set up. She could easily edit all this shit. She could easily, you know, what I mean, had them like, oh man, you know, I'm sorry that this happened. Or da 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 da. This bitch just trying to take all the heat off of her. Cause everybody mad at her for allowing this shit to happen. <laughs> so it don't work because Will it. already fucked. He damn near already blackballed. He's taking him out of fucking uh, everything. Everything. Man, I hope this don't affect that new Bel Air show. Nah. Nah. Nah, because no, no, no. For one, Paramount Plus needs that Paramount. Uh, Peacock needs that. They got it so popular. That's popular. So that's going to be their number one show. They ain't fuck. I don't give a fuck about that. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, yeah, you can come on, bro. Yeah. Emotionless like a robot. Did you see the, the picture where it got like Megan Thee Stallion, Amber Heard, and like her, and then they X'd out like uh, Amber Heard and shit? Oops. Like, okay, now we got one down. Let's get these two. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be a hot son. I can't wait. Alright, man, again, we'll just need to cut his fucking losses. I, I've been one of them. With the whole, with the whole motherfucking, um, when that whole entanglement shit happened, you embarrassing me on fucking TV. I'm gonna well, fucking why? help you embarrassing the fuck out of me. You said that, not only are you fucking embarrassing me, you talking about this young nigga, but he fucked at my house, who was my son's friend. Oh, shit. Okay. Let me proceed. Oh, yeah, God. Oh, man. I think I lost his whole car. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it was wide enough. Oh, shit. It was so far. <laughs> All right. So then, um, having your daughter write a letter to Tupac, all the Tupac shit. Oh, Tupac yeah. was dead for 25 years. Yo, Tupac, the daughter don't know nothing about the Tupac. She wanted that nigga. She wanted that. And threw it in the nigga face. They had a nigga on red table talking about, I hated Tupac. She wanted, I wanted to be Tupac so bad. Nigga, this is your wife, fam. Come on, man. I need to be with a bitch. Yeah, I need to be with a bitch that just don't respect you. At all. Publicly don't respect. I just slapped her on the red table talk. Dog. I don't think that entanglement. That nigga face was foggy as hell. Like he ain't shaved in a year and shit. Man, eyes watery. <laughs> man, that ain't no motherfucking acting. Yo, the bitch did it. Come on. She was fucking another nigga in your house. In your bed. Hang on me. Like, listen. The G14 classified. You made that shit right out of my fucking mouth. Like, damn. Well, like, that, that's, that shit sound good. Can entangle these nuts. Hey. Man, knock this bitch out. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> for real. And if you built like a prize fighter, you could probably knock some tennis to her, for real. I don't do dumb violence. I do. But, I, I, but he got to go. Yeah. I don't know. He got to go, fam. Like, it's just... Like, like I don't even like this, but it just... Like, even if she was fucking young nigga, why put this shit on the fucking front street? That's why I can't, I can't rock with that. Everybody laughing at you. Nigga love you, bro. Nigga love you. Now you a joke. Thanks to your fucking bitch ass, the wife. Man, you need to stop being a simp, though, too, man. Yeah, that's all it really is. I mean, ain't no real reason for y'all to stay together no more, man. Y'all kids grown, right? They, they successful in their own careers and shit. What? That whole slap, that's all was him trying to get his man look back. Which man look like a bit of clown? He should have slapped Jay. I said that, man. <laughs> it's like dick right there at the fuck house. Yeah, or any time. Shit. He should have said that. Would, that wouldn't work, man. This is one. He would have been in jail. And two, he would have been a bad guy. So he he he, he couldn't win regardless. It was just lose lose. So you lose this way, huh? Yes. There are ways to lose, man. <laughs> well he was gonna lose any way it went. Like if you if you gonna go out, shit. I mean, if if like three niggas wanna jump you and shit, we gonna try and fight out of there. You gonna ball up like a bitch. 
Oh, shit. If you, oh, if you got food, you going out by yourself. Yeah. Go out by yourself. You know what? It's not just you work on something. So it's a video going by. This chick and her dude walking, right? Three niggas, okay, three or four niggas walking this way. And one dude is like, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Four niggas, come on. Four niggas, you can't do it. I'm sorry, man. Ain't nobody gonna just assault somebody that I'm kicking I, I know. I'm just kicking it with them and they assault. That ain't, and I'm just like, oh, man, it's too real. real. Fuck that. I get dying from that person. You better than me, fam. You better, I, 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 I'm, hey, I'm trying to get this fucking, uh, the lemonade is bold lemonade. Yeah, as we The heat is liquor, and the heat is liquor. Now liquor, I'm like, I'm not the fucking same at all. I don't, I don't know. This one's for you, man. But well, we can go to the next topic, which is Michael B. Jordan and Lori R.V. Oh, man, I'm ready for this. Okay. So, for those that don't know, uh, Lori R.V. and Michael B. Jordan broke up. And everybody on the internet was like, Say it ain't so low. Just say it ain't so low. I didn't give a fuck either way. It's rich people problems. But <laughs> what kills me about the whole situation, though, is that the bitch wanted to leave because he wanted to get married. Sound like a stand up nigga to me. But this bitch decided to leave, and, and now I hear she running around with that white rapper now. That hard hey, uh, what, what do you even expect, bro? She put the streets, dog. How do you get raised by Steve but, Harvey? But, how do you, you get raised by Steve Harvey? You still a hoe. And he wrote the book that's supposed to be thinking like a man, whatever the fuck. Well, here's the other thing. The women at first were saying what you said. Mm-hmm. But oh, how can they break up? Da, 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 da. But then they double back. Because what's one thing we know about women? They're not trying to eat a hell. Right. So then it came from, oh, I can't get so good together to, oh, well, she knows she's trying to move around. It. Women do not want to eat the fact that you had a good dude, you had a good dude who could provide. He got you in shape when you was when you gained twenty pounds. He got you in shape. Right. He loved you, cared for you. He took you. He he, he ran out the fucking aquarium. That bitch was on uh, fucking uh, Instagram, whatever, looking like a straight dude. So the moment her Lori was yeah, yeah. She looked like a fucking dude. And she looked like Tina Turner on steroids. She still look good. Not a spy. So, but his but but. but one, at one time, I'm like, yeah, we're going to be together. Ah, ah, fuck, T. See, see, she get a good dude. Fuck, future. And then I was like, well, nah, she moving around. She young. She do whatever she want to do. She was with future? Yeah. Yeah, future had everybody. Right. <laughs> so, but that's what the thing. That's what, that's what the thing was, where you have future. You survived future. And now you went and got the opposite. The protocol, the prototype, good dude. Right. And now it's like, oh, well, damn, she learned in her prime. She's 25 years old. Perfect. And then she go fuck off. And these should never learn. They never learn. Because you think it's going to get better from here? You playing the game, you playing the game, and then you're going to end up 35. Wondering where the fuck the niggas that was trying to fuck with you when you were in prime, they gone. Yeah, you yeah. Know, you're the perfect example. Where's Cassie at? Who? Oh. The chick that was fucking with Diddy. Basically, Diddy had the young chick, and he wouldn't marry her, he wouldn't fuck with all that shit. And then, there, she, she, when she got her prime, instead of fucking with Diddy, who worked damn near a billion dollars, she went, she, she watched now, she go and marry her fucking uh, personal trainer. But you, your pride ain't gonna be there forever. You only got such a small window where you can do that shit you was doing back in the day. All the shit, like you remember that song when your guy had talking about uh, I want uh Angela Simmons. Da, 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 da. I ain't listening to no your guy, nigga. God, this nigga on this shit. All right, so basically, a bad bitch in her prime. I want Angela Simmons. Now she when she was twenty. So, now she's 35. Do you think your guy don't want to fuck with that bitch now? No. Why? She's older and she got a kid and all that type of shit. And the Simmons can't pull the nigga she pulled fucking six, seven years ago. The cycle never, it do. It never failed. The war is undefeated. Where the fuck, what's up? Dude, they ain't fucked. Where? 
she, she can crash through the wall. Right, like, like, face first, all of it. The bitch that played the um, uh, uh, players club. What her nigga? Hey, I'm a man. That's why they laughing at Kevin Samuels and shit. And then they can joke. Because they proved them right. Stupid. <laughs> they proved them. They literally proved them right. So oh, what happens is, even Trina. Like, all these, these bitches do is, they get the top niggas, right? They get old, and now either they gonna get a red ass nigga, they'll get a red ass nigga or a young nigga, and they pan, they pan that nigga. <laughs> so, you watched. And I'm like, well, and, and all the old bitches celebrating this young chick, knowing that they gonna see, she gonna see that fucking fake sooner or later. And y'all laughing, and y'all living that bitch. Y'all, y'all the white bitches who live and watch lives. You know what's funny? You That's mentioned great. you mentioned them, uh, them cocktails with Queen and ass hoes because Claudia and Jordan going through the same shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she was next, but I ain't know if you knew about that. Yeah. She going through the same. Yo, her fucking nigga literally told her you and I ain't even attracted to you. Oh my life. On the TV, like, I ain't even attracted to you. He that for the bag. Yep, he want that money. And Clyde Jordan used to be fine as fuck. Yeah. She know all types of niggas. I had uh, I had a huge crush on her back in the day. Right. She know all types of niggas. Now look at you. Your own nigga telling you he don't fuck with you. She knew it good, but she washed. You washed. You not putting them niggas you could afford back in 2000. Right. <laughs> the game is over. It's always satisfying when hoes hit the wall, though. It, it, it really, it, do, it is. <laughs> Especially it when is. they spent all their life living like you just described. Right. You know what I'm saying? Wasting their young years. It's always satisfying. Right. And you, you, would think, you would think that young chicks would be like, hey, we've been through what you've been through. We've been fucking and sucking up all the fucking dope boys, all the hood niggas. All the basketball players, the football players, and what is it about to when you're 40? What the bitches, what are they at? They on Keith with three kids, eight baby daddies. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, in a one bedroom apartment. Like, they yeah. never learn. They never, they never learn, man. Also, the one bedroom. They never, they never fucking learn. Like, y'all gonna have to all line up on the, on the living room furniture or something. Right. <laughs> Damn, bro. They'll be alright. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, bitch. <laughs> That's what I'm like, man. Like, like women, and, 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 and on top of this, and Lloyd and Harvey, and the whole thing is just telling me, man, women don't even know what the fuck they want. Hey, yo. Hey, I'm, like, 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 I'm seriously thinking, I'm seriously like, man, like, dude, ain't this the type of dude y'all always say I want? Ain't this the Russell Wilson nigga that y'all keep throwing out on the fucking face? And he's right there. She got him. She got him. She ain't shooting. Now you going to get this nigga with old Jack Harlow. You want this nigga to Jack Harlow? <laughs> man, yeah. man, let them know how to pick them, bro. Let the bitches drop. Let them drop. That's the problem. They don't know how to pick these niggas, man. Let them drop, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not let them drop. Oh shit, y'all, 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 y'all was young, y'all make the same stupid fucking mistakes. I don't care what fucking age you are. You could be 40 now, 45, 35, 50. Y'all all did the same shit from a young bitch and a nigga with a fucking uh, uh, a dump. To some blue up nigga back in fucking 1955. <laughs> I don't know if they was holding back in the 50s like that. Yeah, you know a bitch probably fucked with some old, uh, we a greaser nigga, a black greaser ass nigga, man. What <laughs> a Fonzie ass nigga. <laughs> right. Hey. Look at ass. So, speaking of. Oh, I'm done. Just let, let the bitches drop. Speaking of bitches, I don't know what they want. <laughs> The, this clip from the Pineapple Show. Go and check that out, man. What's, What's her it? name? Melly Mon- 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 Monaco? Yeah, Melly Monaco. Fine. Fine. She looked weird. Oh, she she looked weird. Dude, her eyes don't look real. Okay, real. Have you ever heard her accent? Where's she from? Jamaica? Nah, uh, France. Oh. 
But anyway, <laughs> let's watch this bullshit. Oh boy, buffering. Well, actually, I'm a new physicist for the Navy. So, I find that if you do this. I don't know you. I am 27. I'll go here now. I'm not going to do it. There you go. So, where are you living? So, I'm actually in the Woodlands, Texas right now. Um, right, right down there by Houston. I'm about 30 minutes away from Houston. So, I'm a little close. Next. Okay, tell me a little bit about your stuff. Um, where do I start? Uh, I like, uh, I like martial arts a lot. I like girls. <laughs> but first, I just wanted to say, like, she don't seem interested, really, in what he's saying. Because you know what? She ain't used to the smart nigga like this. Shit, nigga, I think she already, already think that, what I didn't get to that part yet, but I think this is a typical nigga she don't fuck with. I mean, shit, yeah, like you said, she ain't used to it. Yeah, she probably ain't even mentioned any things like this. Right. So, shit, but still, she can at least show some kind of interest in what we're talking about, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he in a different type of shit. But that's what fucking shit. Nuclear business is it. And they make good money. Right. You should be, huh? Let's tell me more. Da, 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 da. Shit. This is a guy I'd like to hang out with. Shit. <laughs> and that man's only 24 years old. 27. 27, okay. Yo, man, yo. Yeah, yeah. He ain't even 30 yet. And he that successful? Come on, bro. I did uh, a bit of pharmacy uh, back when I was a little bit younger, about two, three years ago. I got certified in pharmacy around when I was 17. Um, I didn't really do anything with it. I went to university for a while. I was getting like, a business degree. So I had a bachelor's in business. And then I did uh, pharmacy for a little while, for about three years, and then got bored. So I was like, eh, let's go see what the military has to offer. I didn't do anything. Um, got I'm there a face. I did my pie cat about a year ago. I got a 96 on that. It goes up to a 99, got a 96. They offered me nuclear physics, and I was like, why the fuck not? So I went there, and now I forgot in a few days. Okay, next. Well, best of luck, as you should have had this. So, here's the funny thing. Now, some people will say, well, it's his fault for being born, and it's his fault for, for not being interested, and it's his fault for leaving, leaving with his wallet. And I'm like, for one, that's what I'm talking about. That's all bitches value, so. <laughs> so what are you talking about? So he got, he had provision, but then she turned around and said he had no personality. But first off, he's showing you, he's talking, he's talking about things that he's interested in. But that too, but greatly proud, uh, proud that he accomplished. That's, come on, you think about the fucking, uh, if I, if I, uh, if I was a fucking physician, a physician, I wouldn't be practical. Oh, sorry, Ugh, nigga. Sorry. Talking Same about that and shit. <laughs> I wouldn't be bragging about that. I wouldn't be talking about that. That's an accomplishment. So one that most niggas don't get. Right. So not only did he show you that he's smart, he's showing you that he can provide. The matter is this. <laughs> She wants to she, she wants to pour, pour to the pool of nigga. Yeah. But with her brain. Ain't that a bitch. Like you like you couldn't just like she didn't even try to just delve into it or even be like, alright, you like martial arts, so what about martial arts? But you like it. Right. Right. She ain't sure her interest at all. She saw those interest at all from the jump. Like, from the jump. Like he she practiced martial arts so he can protect and provide. Oh yeah. I don't want that. No, I don't want that. Pineapples, pineapples, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Pineapple, punk bitch. You ain't even get a chance to get her to know him, dog. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Cut through these ass. It's you like what? Right. right. Eat that shit. Yeah, because sometimes she just be like, she know, like, oh, God, all right, so that's the next one. 
Yeah. And she's like, God damn, this is already dead ass. Right. This is a nigga, this is a winner right here. That's the one most Women don't give a fuck one, man. Women want the hood nigga to be the good nigga. They want that hood nigga to treat him like a good nigga. They don't want a good nigga. That's all that's just all he wants. Why? Because he is literally that is what he's talking about, though. He did do that, but I think she lying. Who? Her. She lied about what? She said he didn't tell me any qualities about him. He just did. Oh. I'm agreeing with you. Don't die first, too. But under, I think the personality. Personality. Swag. Basic swag. Swag. Just say swag. that. Swag. <laughs> he thought that's all she would. I mean, swag. I mean, if it was that serious, you would have, you would at least clarified that, you know what I'm saying, and, tell, and rephrase the question, like, tell me something about you as a person, right. instead of listing your accomplishments. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? At least said that. Yeah, at least give him a chance to do that. Right, you didn't even give him a chance. He didn't even talk to him for five fucking minutes. Shit, man, some bitches don't know what they want, man. These bitches just need to be jack slapped. These niggas, every week, they want to hurt. Every week. No, it ain't. But I'm saying, like, man, it just. They say they want this type of nigga. Like, dude, most women don't want fucking Russell Wilson in their prime. We know this. No. See, Mary don't want that nigga, Russell Wilson in our prime. She got knocked up by future first. Well, to what? To why all lies? Y'all sit there and lie. And then the sims just eat it up. Like, they don't want them. She don't want a motherfucking Russell Wilson. Y'all don't want a Russell Wilson because if y'all wanted Russell Wilson, why the fuck y'all getting pregnant by futures anyway? They want that motherfucking fucking fashion, <laughs> baby. I'm so bored. You don't fuck the fuck. They can't. What do you need? You don't have personality? Yeah, it's not really good already. Ah, uh, you okay, bitch? <laughs> I am too. Even she like how we have to be like, God damn. Yeah, I am good at reading people too, bitch, and I can tell that you are nothing but a whore. <laughs> and an old boy dodged the bullet. He really did, pal. So he can go find somebody that's more. She ain't nowhere near on this nigga level. No! No! That's what I said. Like, I think she got intimidated by the nigga. It's like, damn, what the fuck can I offer him? No, I find an answer like that, but I don't even think that, bro, I don't think that she could have a conversation with him. Even if she liked this fucking personality. She'd feel out of place. Right. Like, we ain't got nothing in common. He's smart. I'm stupid. Right. 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 I can't dumb, I can't dummy him. I can't talk down to him. Right. He'll karate chop my ass. Right. <laughs> 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 He'll kick me around my house by ass by trying to say something slick. <laughs> Again, shout out to the Pineapple Show. Please don't block this fucking video. Yeah, shout out to the Messi. Michael. But in any event. <laughs> fair use, fair use, fair use, fair use. Motherfucker. Oh, gotta say that shit. Just like we walk you out. <laughs> oh, man. These motherfucking hoes. But anyway, let's get into this Moe bullshit. Now. Okay, and accuses him of neglecting his daughter. He admitted to, you know, not handling that properly. You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck is her? Who she just said talking about that? I don't know who the fuck is this. I'm like, it ain't got nothing to do with your beef with him. It's, but she trying to justify it by saying that that's why she said that shit about his wife. Like, oh, I keep sucking dick of a coward. Mm. Damn. It's like, that wow. brutal. You ain't, you ain't hear none of this? I said, dog, after the Steve Harvey shit, I was done. I'm like, I got it. I don't give a fuck about this shit. Steve Harvey? Yeah, that's, that's what it did. That's what, that's what kicked it off was that fucking stand-up, bro. When she said that. No, remember, she, first, it was, it was really DL and her going back and forth. Then Steve Harvey responded. But that was it. I'm talking that. about how this whole shit got started when she got on stage and did stuff. I know that, but when Steve Harvey... Steve Harvey didn't respond until later. Steve Harvey wasn't in it. He, you just said he, she, she just dissed him too. 
He don't want to stay. I'm talking about DL Hughley, though. That's what I know. I'm saying. Let's try. When they went at it the first time, then she didn't see Harvey responding. I was done. Any other responses, I wouldn't pay attention to. Well, I don't know. I ain't hear Steve Harvey response. Yeah, basically he was just on some Indian like, whatever, you know, he took the high road. Like, leave me the fuck out of this bitch. Like, like, I'm late. I'm I I ain't bad. Who fuck you? I don't blame him. For that, uh, but, but, bullshit you be talking about? <laughs> but said, yeah, fuck out of here, bro. He be pandering bitches too. Pandering. Sometimes it's on the truth. As long as it ain't too harsh. Yeah. Oh, uh, right. He, he got to, he got to, uh... He got to watch his <laughs> mind. <laughs> he got a motherfucking uh, barometer. I don't go too high when we talk about him. That's a bad. That's his bad. Hey, hey, real quick, why are you looking for this shit? A lot of motherfuckers understand how, how, how lucrative uh, being the simp is. Or pandering is. Steve um, Harvey was a regular nigga. Not regular, but regular. He wasn't making that money. Once he started paying for women, I mean, the bad came. Yeah, I mean, that's all the money at right now. Right. Derek Jackson, when he started paying well, we all had him. When he started dropping the, the fucking seminars and the t shirts, the bad came. Niggas, though, man, you can go there. Here's what I do. When I see a simp post about some shit, the first thing I do, I go to this page and see if it's some shit. And 90% t-shirt, books, seminars. I'm like, why? I'm like, well, watch these niggas. Because they know y'all market. Yeah. You ain't gonna make no money off of niggas. You make the money off of lines and bitches. Who can so? Tell them what they want to hear. Yeah. There's money into that. There's pussy into that. There's power into that. They know what the fuck they doing. Hell yeah. Carry it on. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. That ain't even had nothing to do with all these kids. I just got to do it before you, before you get the picture. <laughs> Shit. Good luck finding one that won't take me to some weird ass site that I don't want to fucking go to. I just want to look at the damn picture. Damn, you know what? She is. She looks like she threw a hard fight with me. Oh, damn. Well, she said she was like, uh, Della Reese. Come on, why should I just like her? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you're gonna choose me of stealing. <laughs> they could make a movie like that, man. See, they could have made a movie like that. Oh, but that's good. You think they're gonna make something like that? No, her and you. Before this bullshit? All the king, the comedy, queen, the comedy type shit. It could, it could have worked. That should have really should have came out in the nineties, two thousands. Like maybe right after King the Comedy. Right, right. And when it was an all the yeah. prop. That would have been funny as hell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially if Bernie Mac was in it too. Right. Oh man, rest in peace. But anyway, man, this bitch is vicious. <laughs> Shit, she got off stage and ripped him a new one. That's how the shit got started. You know, a lot of people say that her husband's a fool. Probably is. He her manager. You know what I'm saying? Now, of course, now supposedly it was supposed to be over a contract signing or some shit. So yeah, it's a contract. Yeah. yeah. But she said, she went on live and said that it wasn't about that. It was about uh, all the shit that D.L. was saying over the years and shit. It's like, what the fuck... And then she said that, uh, what, what she said, he was like, oh, it was, it started when she went on his show, and they was playing a game, you know how they play the game, I guess on his show, he played this game called, uh, Would You Ever, or whatever, yeah. or Would You Rather, or What Would You Rather, right, and she ain't like the game, because they asked the question about, like, basically her husband, like, would you rather have, I don't know, <laughs> shit, I have to look that shit up. Like, would you rather have your husband fuck somebody, fuck some dude without a condom or then? Or would you rather have him fuck uh, a bitch, another bitch with one? What are you saying? The title that was the question. But how was that question with Monique, That's what they asked her. Not about her husband. Oh, but that was, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my bad. Oh, so they're 
give him dirt, give him more hurt. Yeah. Ask that person. Oh, I'm gonna listen. <laughs> I'm struggling to figure out all this bullshit. <laughs> you ain't listening. Yeah, you know I won't complain about that nigga, man. Shit, man, I don't see why. <laughs> paying to be with him. <laughs> like, oh, like I said earlier, motherfucker. <laughs> and his name is Sydney. Or Sydney or something like that. What and it's one of them one of them bitch ass names. Or some people laughing shit. Fucking up the game. <laughs> oh man, yeah, she been she been just going in, just talking about how uh just bringing up that old trauma in his daughter's life and shit. You know what I'm saying? Putting that shit out in the air. And it's like, and then D.L. Hughley's oldest daughter went in on her and shit and said, like, uh, keep, keep our family name out your mouth, basically. <laughs> what do you do? Go to ask this place. How do you book more shows? You kill it. You cook. Yeah, that that one shit that you complain about? Oh, that's a wrap. And they still in litigation, ain't they? I don't know, but if it's over now, right here. Yeah. You sit there thinking you getting Andy Schumacher money, you don't No, I don't. You know. ain't even getting Cat Williams money. You ain't getting shit. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to pay your husband in a minute. Hell no. Shit. You bitch ain't making money off. Uh, I think it was funny what uh, Corey Hoko said about her, too. Oh, yeah, I saw that. You saw that? Yeah. <laughs> Don't say your husband, baby. Contract. <laughs> Man, that's, I don't know. She just, she handles shit the wrong way. That's all it is. She says, you go about shit the wrong fucking way. She went about the Netflix shit the wrong way. Like, bitch, if you were smart, you would have took the little $500,000, made a killer show, and force them to pay you more for the next one. But, nah, see, I kind of feel it. Imagine you been in the game so long. So what? You ain't funny, bitch. And you give it, ain't you like a funny? No, but, but she made 10 million. She put asses in the seat, so. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Should. Yeah. 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 Monique ain't gonna put asses in the seats. Yeah, for the point. Uh-huh. <laughs> So yeah, you take this half a million dollars and you make it work, bitch. You prove wrong, you prove wrong. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill that show, chill that special, <laughs> and then come back and ask for all money. That man was giving to you anyway. Bobby went on stage and dogged D.L. Hughley as a replacement set of no having jokes. <laughs> Between all the people 
people always talk about, I see the burnt bridge, and the bitch walk on the burnt bridge, and that motherfucker. I'm good. Ain't none of us perfect in the comedy game, but I'm not finna motherfucker spend my time on stage making excuses for not being funny by talking about somebody else. <laughs> you know how I said whatever? You know how I said whatever? After all. You see what I'm saying? What's up, she crap? Did you hear crap, she crap? Uh-huh. You know how my whole man boy is beginning up when it's up. So you think she just did five minutes of this shit, huh? <laughs> she didn't have no material, so she went up there I don't know where to get through the time by talking shit about the uh, what the jokes, bitch. <laughs> the fat jokes and the, the little big jokes and, the, and that shit to play out. There's too many people to watch comedy. Too many people watch comedy. So when you go up there, see it. I saw a big guy that they all you want to win. Should have kept that bitch name out her mouth. Yeah, bitch name out. 
Yeah, big thing on our mouth. Yeah, so tap on our mouth. No, but for the rest, this is fuck. Shit, regardless. Like, damn, man, shit, you ain't have to go here. You got to bring my wife into it, shit. So now his whole family caught up in this bullshit. Thanks to her. Oh, I didn't say nothing about her. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about to you. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yes. A lot of them just don't, I guess if you want to call them narcissists, just don't see the wrong with what they're doing, even if you tell them you're doing wrong. Man, dude, even the fans. <laughs> Even the fans turn it on her now. It's right. like saying she's gone too far. Right, so that's, a, that's the worst. Because they always say you don't want to fuck the bag up. Once you start fucking the bag up, she ain't getting no bag for this shit. Now, yeah. Thanks. Well, yo, man, you can. Monique will be alright at the fan sign of her. Because you did that first. Yeah, because then you can do a small circle and you're going to get off that. But what made it even worse? You being immature as fuck over some shit that happened years ago. Right. I'm going to Ben talk that shit out. Right, dog. He talking about uh, if I say something, I want to make sure to get out there. Oh, but we'll say it to him then. The fuck? You don't take the shit public. Do you feel like it's a pattern for reconciliation? Yeah. Hell yeah. At least for now, I've been given about 10 years, shit. <laughs> I'm like fighting that shit in them. That shit, I don't know. With, with me, I can hold a grudge. I'm just speaking for myself. Yeah. But, man, I, it's going to be a few years. Shit, it don't matter if they wreck or not, though. Because Monique is just, I don't know. She's going to still keep doing the same bullshit. She's going to do it somebody else. Right. And notice that when this when this shit came out, this Corey Oakland shit, she, uh, she was like, Oh, I ain't got nothing bad to say about Corey Oakland. Yeah, I bet you don't, bitch. Right. Man, you don't want them problems. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. So you will go against your friends and not a motherfucker you don't even know. Shit, I mean, I guess she know of Corey, but the thing is, she got to do worse. She got to, and she, but my point is, she picking her battles. You know what I'm saying? She know how to pick her battles. She's... She go up against Corey Hope and you gonna roast the fuck out of her. <laughs> so get most of my nigga you don't know versus disrespecting your fucking friends. Your real friends. Exactly. She picking her battles. That's why she yes. said she ain't got no problem with him. Even though he, had, he disrespected her way more than DL ever did. That's pathetic. And just this one skit. Pathetic. Pathetic. A motherfucker you don't know shouldn't affect you at all. Shut up. Straight up. Like, I don't know, man. It's, like I said, man, this bitch picking her battles. She just wanted to fucking find... She's shooting deers in cages. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you know, DL can't really go in on her like he wants to. Yeah, now nah, he's a corporate dude. So yeah. yeah, he can't do that. Yeah. But, shit. Talk about rocking a hard place. But I wouldn't even say nothing else. He won! Because he don't have to. Everybody else is doing the dirty work for him. Yeah, basically. Shit, you know, he, he can just Smart chill. play. Smart. I think, he, I think he said, like, one more thing, and that was it. On his radio show, and that was it. I think he's done with that bitch now. Shit, I really do hope so. Because that bitch ain't worth shit. Right. Damn, I feel bloated. Ain't nobody damn Jamaican to make fool this shit. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Up your heart. Stop dying over there! Oh, what's the fuck going on? It's so, it's so far! You ain't that damn far. Dude, who you? Uh, That's fucking a whole different country. Well, uh, the whole county, whatever, fuck. Planet. Yeah, I don't want to go there. <laughs> but it's like, I had to probably go there early and just chill and probably eat. Whatever. Because they had a dining room, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, that would be a fucking danger. I don't know if they let people eat there or not. But hell, it wasn't that, I mean, it wasn't even that many people in there when I went to there. How the fuck you got the dining room you don't let niggas eat there? I, I don't know. They probably got 
scare COVID still, but they probably let you eat in there. I don't know. Don't, don't take my word for it. From Greenfield to Final Act. That's all bad. That's an adventure, nigga. No way. It's the fuck it is. It ain't even that far. It's the fuck it is. Look, all you do, I don't even know where the fuck that is. Y'all know where fuck I'm on is? And what? In Capital. Nigga, that's way cool. Is it? No. Capital. Oh, God, what capital was? Nigga, I ain't been over this motherfucker in how long? So you forget your way around the city? Yes! That's fucked up. You remember your old house is, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> well, man, like... Okay, so look over where that, uh, Walmart used to be. Yeah, like... But it's... It's across the street from that Burger King. Burger. On Capitol? Okay, alright, alright, alright. Alright, damn, man. You don't know capital, you don't know the walk. No. No more shit. I know it. I swear, that's a fucking shame. I don't leave my motherfucking neighborhood. They said you can leave the fucking state. That's a motherfucking shame. You go down, like, like my first movie. He, my uncle told me, you go down and he take 14 and get off that walk up to the bank. Well, he's like, get up, take the third one. What the fuck are you talking about? Ha 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 Goddamn. Yeah, this nigga shit was on the fucking robot, and now this shit, we don't show everybody over. Yeah, now I want to drag ass. What a joke. Why? Hell yeah, dog. Why do you marry a nigga? We need to know who's shooting Lucas, and Tom P. Lucas, and Judge Warren Hayes their case. Mr. Lucas, you have brought Mrs. Mrs. Lucas here to... Oh, I don't start this bullshit! In order to recover either a, your 2000 Camry that you said you upgraded or the value of the upgrades that you put in the Camry that you say she took. And I know that you're wearing sunglasses, which usually is not permitted in a courtroom, but I understand that you have an eye issue, glaucoma, and the lights are bothering you. He's so going to hell me. I'm start with you. <laughs> tell me. I think I'm here and why yeah, not you needed to come to court to get this car back. Well, um, Your Honor, I was, we, everything, there was nothing wrong. Nothing. You know, everything was normal at my house. Everything was normal. Had nothing wrong. Nothing. But she just told me, baby, I'll be back. And she left, you know, this was back in November. Mrs. Lucas, Mr. Lucas says you had a great relationship. Yes, we had a wonderful relationship. Why don't you tell me what was wonderful about it? Um, it was wonderful, um... <laughs> We were like best friends. I believe, you know, he was my soulmate. Everything was fine except, yeah, he was too nice. He was too nice. You hear this shit a lot from bitches now, man. Bro, here's what I wanted to say. I was going to say it before we even fucking play this shit. How do you marry a nigga that too nice? Right? How do you know? If you know he's too nice. <laughs> How do you even get to that motherfucking stage? His talking, his relationship, his marriage. Shit, even Tupac went through this. Man, when he was a kid, young, he learned young. He learned young young baby being fucking nice. I didn't jump up through that shit too. We man, all of us, I went through that shit. I never went through that. Nah, cause you don't, you don't give a fuck about nothing, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going. <laughs> yeah, most men did through that shit. Especially when you're young, man. Yes. That shit don't pay. Don't, don't, man. don't listen to these men. Don't listen to these chicks. They will straight lie to you. They don't want that. Like I said a couple episodes ago, it's just you. You got the fucking key to your kid to be all this type of stuff, like, nigga. But these ain't the niggas that you want your son. And you fucking up uh, uh, other niggas. You want your son to be a nigga you fucking? Now you fucking a nigga you want your son to be. Which one? You want to fuck a son. <laughs> <laughs> it's too nice. How does one be too nice? Right. 
too nice to one's wife. <laughs> he was too nice, like, it was scary nice. You know. That's a fucking hard. This is fucking scary nice. It was like stalkerish nice, like, you too nice. It's too nice. It's too nice. It's too nice. Because I, I, I cannot conceive of the world that you have structured for me here. Right, I mean, you know, too nice, like, you know, he would say, I love you, and it was like, I was like, okay, I was waiting for the punch, when you gonna kick me, it's scary. She must have been through some abuse, like, for real, like, she must have had some abusive relationships in her past. That, that, that's her shit, though, that's her baggage and trauma, she needs to work on. Oh. <laughs> that's crazy. That traumatized that you, you, um, Expecting fucking violence from my husband that fucking loves you. Bro, I'll tell you the story. One of the best chicks I've ever had. Okay. Who I'm still sad because she's a fucking anti violence right now. I think that as far as, as, far as she was, she went through some fucking abuse. We go on the couch watching the Pacers game, play your game, right? And something happened. She's laying there. I'm, I'm amped up. Somebody come in, in the chair, right? Right. And, sh- and the Pacers do something they they scored, and I'm like, yeah, and I'm like, yeah, I'm throwing my hands up like, yeah, and I'm coming her way because I'm just like, yeah, the momentum, right? Dog, why she look and was like, yeah, I'm like, what the fuck you to do? You need to work out. You to do better than that. Mm-hmm. He told you he loved you and this was a problem. You put up your hands like, when is the punch gonna come? You've been married for five years. Has he punched you yet? No. No. He's a he doesn't man. punch you. He's, He's a wonderful not, man. Yes, I'm just not so used to that. So the I love you is too much for you. It's, it's not too much, but you don't have to tell me like twice a week. <laughs> Fuck out of here! Done. Twice a week. Fucking done. <laughs> Bro, I'm done. Don't sit here and tell me twice a week. Fine, I don't tell you at all. <laughs> you been never like that, nigga. <laughs> Something you know, you never like him. I bet for a little bit. I bet you was the type of nigga. She was fresh out of that shit, right? Yeah. And she got that nigga that he was paying for everything. Right. And then she realized that ain't even a nigga she won. I ain't never heard no shit like that. I thought she was gonna say like five times before they got out of the bed. Right. This bitch said, do that tell me every two weeks? <laughs> Twice a week. Dog, on one story real quick, my dog. Another chick I was dating. She got mad because I was holding the door for her, right? <laughs> so the next time go, <laughs> go back up. So we walk, you know my door, you got the first door you walk, the second door you walk in. Mm. So, walk in, and then the second one I lock, go I walk, I was like, BOOM! There <laughs> 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 ain't no shit. There ain't no good ladies first, bitch. <laughs> oh. oh, man. I was the last little bad one. Go like that, bitch. Bye. <laughs> I can't stand an ungrateful bitch. I'm the most grateful shit that they beg up. They beg for this shit. They don't really beg. Want they don't want this shit. Like I said, they don't want the nigga that they say they want. They don't want none of that shit. 
They only want the nigga that they like the hood and they look up and they look like that. Who don't treat like that? That's all they want. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. Yeah. 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 Ye
for you. You have got a guy who doesn't care what size you are. You have got a guy who, no, 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 who tells you that he loves you without being prompted or looking for sex. And you're telling me that you want to leave him because he treats a good black woman which we're gonna have to qualify. <laughs> like good black women, a queen ought to be treated. And what you're doing, what you're doing is taking a very self, I am a self-centered individual. And I don't appreciate what a man has brought to my table. So I'm gonna make up some stupid reason. Yeah, yeah. That's sweet. To say what, it, it, it is stupid. It's, it, and I, I, I very rarely say that about anybody. Do I, Joe? I don't say things are stupid. Very rarely, because people have odd points of view. That's okay. But that's stupid. You need to grow up. Mr. Yeah, bitches don't know what they want, dog. <laughs> Not at all. At all. She goes, she wants want that nigga she married. You know what I mean? She wants that nigga that's going to be the A. Right. I mean, that nigga was the whole security right <laughs> That she didn't want. That's you know sad. I mean? That is sad as fuck, dude. You, you remember that episode of Boondocks? With the hoe? When Grandpa tried to wipe that hoe up? Yeah. Bring it in the house? Yeah. And then once that pimp come around, she gone. Come uh, on. Same yeah. shit. Same shit, man. Don't listen to what these bitches want. They don't want the shit that they say. At all. Yeah, they don't. They not honest about that shit. At all. Chill. John Becker said it best. Like, if you want to know something about women, never ask a woman. Fact. Right. 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 Ah. Uh, bad. Any other topics you had? Shit, we got a couple, man. We ain't talking to Sean Watson. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot about that shit. <laughs> we pay for pussy and shit. So, but he did know. All right, so listen. Why are they fucking with this nigga, man? Okay, yeah, he got some fucking massages. He got his dick right there, he probably got to suck people. If he didn't get criminally charged with all 24 of them bitches, why are you fucking with him? You didn't get charged with none of that shit. They, they tried to charge him for 66 of them now, and it's civil. So if you didn't get charged criminally for this shit, the fuck is up with this? Right. Let that nigga play. If he's going to break bread, let him break bread. But let that nigga play out of fuck. The NFL sitting there like, oh, we don't know who this is. Nigga, either suspend him or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were talking about 64 big women. Of course they want to jump in. It's a simple case. They want to get bread. I want to give them bitches shit. If I'm the shot, I'm like, yo, I'm fighting to the teeth. Sure I'm fighting to the motherfucking teeth. We ain't even fucking die. At all. On my life. At all. At all. Shit, the NFL don't know what to do with them now. Then it's like, it's not even fair. <laughs> then it's like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. They, 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 I wonder how many of these bitches are flying. Probably most of them. Oh, I feel like at least, I feel like, um, at least fucking 80% of them, 90% of them was with it. Because if you weren't with it, why wouldn't you say something back then when it happened? Right? Because they're trying to juice him for more of their hoes, man. Man. Oh, my God. The minute he was like, oh, we're not going to criminal charges, they didn't even talk about But the, the simple suit, that guy just fuck that. If you don't see that I criminally did something wrong, why the fuck are you fucking with me? Yeah, let that nigga play, y'all. Because John, he played for uh, the Browns, nigga, that was up until a few years ago, the worst team in the NFL. And then he, he had a guaranteed $230 million contract. Oh, yeah, see? Oh, that's what they want. If you try to die, but if you try to drop, if you try to cut up, it's a $195 million salary cap. Fucking, uh, uh. In the NFL? Yeah, we call that salary cap, uh, I can't eat. They had to pay all that. Oh. So you yeah. might as well go to the I don't brown, I'm brown, I'm bringing all my motherfucking top boys, no. all Ohio top. Fuck that, man. I give a fuck him. I will spend $20 million to make sure the niggas don't get nothing. 
Right. He think he's gonna get fucking nothing. Fuck that. They don't deserve shit. They Fuck don't know that. What I, bro, I, how do you? I, this shit goof. You don't get charged. You they, they already seen that you even the wrong criminal. But then they want to fucking hit you up. And they, yeah, but, but then they still probably want to suspend you. That's all that should matter. They take too long to make that decision, so they might as well just say fuck. In in the or, in the or, and then what they should do is be like, well, listen, you didn't play for so, such a long time. Mm. Uh, we're gonna have to jail when you get that shit. Uh, time served. Time served. Time served. Play ball. Man, shit, what it is. Fuck you. Man. We wanna see how I play. Man, I have it on my helmet. Fuck these bitches. Uh, so I'm like, fuck you, bitch. Like, uh, you can't have that on your helmet. Bullshit. After <laughs> what I just went through. Or at least on my place, LTH. You're like, you're lucky, lucky I don't put misogynist on this motherfucker. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. Shit. All that shit on that. Man, fuck out of here. Man, they don't even care, you know. They just want to fuck with people's lives and ruin their lives. Damn, that's all we talked about on here you know, until the show the other day. They're just ruining men's lives. God damn, really? <laughs> all of them. Every angle. Shit, for the most part, shit. Except for Lori Harvey, she fucking her own shit up. Right. Yeah, you see the video that nigga with his soggy as a motherfucker on TV? Who? Michael B? Yeah. Nah. Hey, look at like, man. I wouldn't have been crying over that hoe. No, it's a you truck, you want to marry bitch! Y'all wouldn't want to marry her after that? No, I'm saying, but now you in front of everybody and the camera on your face right here, trying to face smile, swallow your fucking pride. Like, and in your tears. Right. And your heartache. Ha ha ha. was salty. Shit, I wouldn't have been. You dodged the bullet, nigga. Niggas must be blind. Niggas must be blind. That hoe got your mind. You can't see what I can see. That's the best, man. They play that shit. All the niggas, two short E40s sitting there in the room, close the door. Bow. You seen that, uh, Mount Westmore shit? They kind of serve with fucking What happened with that? that? They, they on tour. Oh, they on tour? I thought they were on tour last year. No, I, I, I don't know. Shit, I just they know they're on tour. They promote that shit better. Because it's too many. It's too promoted. And E-40 promoted. I don't know. I don't follow us. Uh, what's called it? Too short now. But something like that should be... I mean... They... I mean... <laughs> They in California, most of these they don't really need too much of them over there. But nigga, it's a worldwide, I it's nationwide tour. So you gotta... They come in here? I think so, in Chicago, right? Oh, I don't I live in Chicago. They look yeah. down the block! Chicago ain't down the block, nigga. Yeah, it's down the, nigga, it's down the block! Yeah, for a nigga with a car. Look at this nigga about to walk through and shit, back, back. <laughs> Walking through, through walking through Ray scene and right. shit. <laughs> nigga, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Get on the bus. Motherfucking ass on like Greyhound, nigga. <laughs> shit, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'd like to see that concert. For sure. Shit, Snoop, E-40, Shoe Short. Who else was it? Uh, Ice Cube. Oh, yeah, Ice Cube. Hell yeah, Ice Cube. That's it. Yeah, that's, so that's, a lot of, that's a lot of content. Hell yeah. This is going to be like a three, four hour concert. Mm hmm. Not to, mention, not to mention the opening acts, if there are any. I don't want one. You know? I don't want one. That's too much. <laughs> Think about it. Everybody can do at least 15 songs. What the fuck I need an opening act for? <laughs> Nigga, E40, 15 songs. Snoop, 15, 20 songs. Too short. 80 songs. Motherfucking Ice Cube, 40 songs. Straight up. Nigga, fuck that. I thought I said 40. <laughs> Dr. Dre should be on that tour as well. Nah. <laughs> shit. He wasn't rapping like that. You know what I'm saying? He got all the shit. Him and, him and Ice Cube can do all the uh, NWA shit. 
they solo shit, natural born killers. Shit, Q brought all that shit, so. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying, but they can perform that shit. Like, he ain't he'll doing probably, this shit. He'll probably do his verse. That's what I'm saying, like, do your shit, do all your fuck, the chronic, do your chronic. Man, come on. That'd have been dope. He should, he should be on there. I would kick fucking too short off of there. Why? To put him on there. Hell no. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, no. you wouldn't have kicked too short off there. Dr. Dre? Hell yeah. yeah, no. You kidding. Hell no! I'm going to replace two you shows have, with Dr. Wait, Dre. You have all the NWA albums. You have the oh, Chronic. You have the Chronic 2000. Chronic that's redundant, dog. The Chronic 2001? I'm saying that's redundant, dog. They have the NWA up there. You already got Ice Cube up there. They would have left them been on tour. They've been on tour. I mean, I mean, they've never been on tour past, what, the 80s? You don't want to hear that shit? I mean, I ain't saying I wouldn't want to, but if you got, I wouldn't replace him with Too Short. Man, Hell man, no. Too short, get the fuck up out of there. I was, I was working that shit. Hell no. Too Short. Hell yeah, Too Short. <laughs> fuck out of there. We got, we getting Dre? Yeah, Too Short, nigga. Yeah, you get, you get do cocktails and uh, freaky tales. After that, nigga, you out, dog. That's fucked up. <laughs> and we're going to turn the music on at the end of this shit so you get the fuck about it. Like Apollo, nigga. Damn. Sandman. No, you said that like two, like shit. I didn't say he whacked on the sand. Drake got the, he's a selling point. He's, he's a bigger artist. I, I, that's all, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, he ain't much of an artist though, like that's the thing. Man, oh, all right, all right, let me ask you I'm going to ask you a question I was going to ask before. What do you think was the best, not that you went there, but you, what do you think was the best concert, mega concert that that ever been out? I don't know, shit. Like the climate question. tour, 2000 tour? Remember the, uh... I ain't the, seen the, enough of them. The, uh, I would say the fucking, um, that tour with the, uh, Cash Money Rough Riders. That one? I didn't even know about that one. Damn, nigga, what? What was that? Back in the nineties? Yeah. yeah. How the hell don't remember that? <laughs> I remember it that he ordered me. What you talking about? I don't even remember that shit. I don't I remember concerts from the nineties. I never went to one back then. I didn't say you went to but you saw it, you knew about it. Probably it I forgot about it then. Shit. Nigga, I ain't forget shit. I ain't forget none of that shit. That's what they need to bring back man concerts. I know the whole thing now like festivals and shit. But they need to bring back like big ass concerts. I mean, should they still be having them? It's a festival now. They don't have to be having big ass concerts. Like, like a concert like that will be at the fucking Pfizer. It won't be at the fucking uh 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 like, UW so, Panther Arena. Right? Like, yeah, like, fuck that. Like <laughs> fucking like T Pain and a bunch of niggas coming in here tomorrow, and they going at the fucking rave. I'm like a rave. See, pain ain't nobody. Oh, you fucking. That nigga had one head. That nigga had one head. What other head he had? That nigga got plenty of heads. What's another oh, head man. besides oh. buy you a drink? Nigga, you high. You are high as hell, nigga. Are you kidding me? Yes, I am, but I don't remember another head. Oh, yeah, this nigga. You see, that moon rock that you really a moon. <laughs> planet Zordon, nigga. That was a planet. <laughs> <laughs> Dog said that. Uh, I'm just saying, like T Pain got Matt the play. Remember, dog, him and I don't even remember, but him and um, I him and Lil Wayne, him and Lil John went at a battle for twenty songs. And, uh, and uh, versus yeah, and he kept on par with him, Lil John. I don't know, man. I I don't remember no hits from this nigga, dog. Oh, I can't believe y'all. Y'all hear this shit? I don't remember no hits from this nigga, dog. Okay. Buy your drink, right? That's the only one. Bartender. Good life with Kanye. No, no features, dog. That don't count. So no features. Just solo Just hits. Solo hits. He never had none. I right, buy your drink. Out. That's him. Bartender. That's him. I can't believe it. That's him. I I'm strong. Which one? I can't believe it. Yeah, you did, nigga. It's impossible. How you figure? I can put you in the mansion. Somewhere in Wisconsin. Come on. I never heard that. Oh, you can. All right. So, uh, I'm sprung. 
I'm in love with like, like yeah, I'm, in love with yeah, I'm in love with a stripper. Oh, okay. I remember that one. Uh, I think I had like two, three hits. That nigga had enough that chopped and screwed, but he had enough, man. But but he was really feature. He was feature king. That's good enough, nigga. Shit. He he was he like Nate Dog. Better than Nate Dog. What? Cause he has his own fucking songs. That's why. Nate Dog had his own songs. Nigga, what? What? What song? You know what? Um, what song he had? Right, what name? What name of song? But uh, these days, nobody heard that shit. You nigga, yeah, okay. you ain't heard fucking, <laughs> you ain't heard of him. T Pain, you heard this shit. Fuck T Pain, nigga. Underground ass nigga, man. Thank you, T Pain ass. He ain't got nothing. He ain't got that many hits, bro. I'm sorry. Man, I'm telling. He why got like why he had, he had the fucking get his own concert. Yeah. So. Dude, Nate Dogg will have his own fucking concert. Hell no. Rest in peace. They would know. That nigga will be on the chronic tour. Like we just <laughs> talked about. He's going to be a bro- my rush smell what's more. Doing little feature shit. He's going in the backstage. Come back when we call you, nigga. You like your own set, nigga. Fuck <laughs> out of here, dog. <laughs> hey, Nate Dogg going to rock the house. <laughs> 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 I don't know, man. I don't know too many T-Pain songs, though. That's just me. That's you, dog. That's <laughs> yeah, definitely you, man. Yeah. Because at first, I, I was like, man, who's y'all about to watch this nigga? Then he was going, oh, shit. I forgot. That's the great thing about fucking verses. It's some songs that you'd be like, god damn. Like, I feel all about that. <laughs> on the real. I still say they should have did Hand of the Devil on the verses with eight ball now. That was some of their best shit. Yeah, but they probably tried to dang when the beat so dark, you know what I mean? They at least they had friend of foe. I was trying to say they did friend of foe. Yeah, that went dark though. They, they did fucking one day. Like, come on, man. Like, no, you just can't do it one day. That's what I'm saying. That's a big, that's a big hit. Yeah, at the same time, nigga. Yeah, Henry the Devil, that's a that's dark about, song. That's a dark song. One day is a dark song. That's yeah, a but that's a song. Big, but, that's a, you know what I'm saying? That's a big hit. That's a big hit. I mean, if you just go on bar for bar, why not put Hand of the Devil on there? I would have. At least they did Daylight. Yeah, but still. I threw that shit in. I didn't have Daylight. Um, they do. I wasn't expecting that one. Ah, shit, that didn't surprise me. Because they did. Then they do. We started this before that song. Yeah, but they had to do that. That's a major hit. So they had to do that. But I wasn't, I wasn't expecting Pay Dudes at all. Pay Dudes was the shit. Right. It's a skinny line between wrong and right. Trapped in the trap till the morning light. Get away, left me no choices. I had to fight. My mom and dad were too young to raise me right. Hey, I've been made a man for all the mistakes I made. Niggas dead, niggas gone, I still ain't afraid. Ain't too grown to get back on the ghetto games I play. But lights would have been done, got cut off if the dudes were bay. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is like fucking features like that, man. Shit, CeeLo, man, I don't know. You Not just him, I'm just saying, like, like, motherfucker, RB nigga going off on your track. They still do that. Nigga, where? Every once in a while. <laughs> I mean, like, like, even like, Levetti went off on just a player. He went the fuck off on that shit. <laughs> I remember. I give it to him. Finally, I give him props for that. He went the fuck off on that. I gotta download that. I had it, it on my you. old phone. I had it on my old phone. It's probably on my computer and shit. I just gotta put it on my phone. Yeah, the uh, hell, the Vinny was the hook man for Sick Witty Records. Right. For real, he was doing everybody hooks. But that's his cousin, though, right? I don't think so. He always, he always everybody in that motherfucker's family. Not everybody. But who? Yeah, most of the motherfuckers, not everybody. The Vinny wasn't related to him. I could have sworn I thought that was his cousin. No. <laughs> Remember that movie, Obstacles and shit? Remember the cover? When they had E40 head all over the and <laughs> shit. Like he the star and it was really D shot. Right. <laughs> Dog, movies really do that. 
Hey, see, I remember a movie with, um... You remember that movie I used to watch the fuck out of? Some Brits of Peace, Quavo Jones, but you see De La Soul on the cover and shit. So then, you're like, all right, De La Soul in this movie. They ain't no way in this motherfucker movie about some country-ass nigga and shit. So, no. They got a movie about fucking the movie that part on the cover, he ain't in the motherfucking movie. <laughs> That was good for that shit. Like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. You know, this gonna sell the shit. Right. Like, y'all just don't know. Right. Y'all already bought this mind. We'll watch it, nigga. Just like that, uh, that Charlie Hustle movie and shit. It's like, this ain't no damn movie. <laughs> <laughs> watch the videos? It's a documentary. Oh. I was expecting a movie. Like, E40, you got us this time. Well, like, remember the streets to watch it? The streets to watch it? Not like that, but. You think, like, oh, it's going to be a movie. Nigga, there was a bunch of videos in that. That'd be clear. That was clickbaiting back then. <laughs> right. Oh, my life. Like, God damn. <laughs> Even back then. Damn. But I still say another person I want to see is Mr. Mike versus Big Mike. On the real. That'd be a bum fucking person. Especially <laughs> for Southern rappers. Yeah. Well, I ain't that deep, nigga. I ain't that deep. Who the surface level nigga you want to see? I don't know. I can't think of none. Surface level is like A boy and Big G level for the South. Like I told you, like I, I I do want to see Scar. Like I said, Scarface and Ice Cube was talking, but they want to they want to play each other. They want to play other motherfucking shit. What? That's the only way you want to do it. You want to play. He, so Scarface, only way he would do it is sitting down and playing Ice Cube shit. That don't make no sense. Exactly. So I'm like, yeah, don't, nah, don't do it. That would be dope, though, um, if they just did it the traditional way, though. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. But that's 20, even 20, 30 songs. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think Ice Cube had an ego where he's like, I ain't shit. I think Ice Cube would do it. I would. I'd right. love to see that shit. Right. On the real. Damn. Scarface versus Ice Cube. Yeah, that's the only thing. That, that's all I want to see. I don't even know who will win that. It'll be hard to call, just like the last one. No, I think Eight Ball easily won that one. No. Could, yeah, no, yeah. Not, it wasn't. It wasn't a watch, but it was obvious. But then, was it only obvious that uh, Pepsi wasn't there? I mean, that had an effect on them, of course. Yeah. Right. I don't know. It was all love, dog. So they were, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all, it's all I, love. Said, I said it was a tie, man. Shit. Is that, is that you being a fan? Maybe. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> I don't know. It's just hard to pick a winner. So how many have you watched? Shit, just that one, really. I think it's funny to go back. Yeah, no. Know. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you give a fuck about none of that shit. They just watch it, nigga. It's, they all good. Most of them good. Shit. Uh, fucking, uh, Tiny Brothers, fucking, the first Earth Wind of Fire, that was fire. <laughs> I bet. Nigga, shit. Well, like, there was a lot of shit that was fire. Like, even the shit that was kind of like, not all that was not like Monica versus fucking Brandy. That was fire. Oh, it, it was mostly fire because you can see they still hate each other. I heard that Escape said that they'll beat Destiny's Child in the verses. Yeah, right, with your two albums. <laughs> you got two whole albums. Who could beat them? Who, Destiny's Child? Yeah. Pride of Supremes? <laughs> they ain't that cold, nigga. This nigga said it's a praise. Like, you I don't know. Uh, shit. Not too many, you know. It's like. One of the most successful female groups out. Maybe if they were against like TLC. Yeah. TLC. That's TLC. Cool. Yeah. That'll be a good twenty songs. But I feel like motherfuckers would dick suck because Beyonce don't that. Yeah, I mean, that's a problem. See, but, that's a problem. I mean TLC got a nice fan base too. Yeah, but yeah. Or maybe Beyonce. maybe in vogue. <laughs> but then that'd be a bold verse escape. But escape yeah, we'll the floor but escape. Escape, escape battle fucking um SWV. For real? That, yeah. that's more even. Yeah. That was good. 
that was good. And it was singing. That lip sync is that was singing. That's what's up, man. It's not sad, nigga. Watch that shit. <laughs> shit. Damn, I can Damn, we can't with some good verses. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh shit. Man, so I don't know, man. If you wanna wrap this one up or yeah, let's wrap this up. Time. Wrap this motherfucker up like like a condom. Right. <laughs> Get the fuck. I'm out of here. Yeah, I yeah, hope y'all enjoyed it. If you didn't, I don't care. Damn. That's how I think it's ended so. <laughs> Thank you for listening before this took my Get the hell out of here. I'm trying to shut off the recording. <laughs> this thing going so goddamn slow. There. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know where they go from here. I don't, I don't know. What you mean?